Okay, and we want to thank people for that. So that's both here, ask, and a thank. All right, good. So you, see, you get the idea of how this works? So what I would suggest is that you develop this list. You can use this grid on these two pages, and you have it in your church council meeting. And you can just, every, every month, it can be a part of the agenda of the church council meeting. Where are we? How are we doing? Because if you're like me, if you don't have something in front of you to remind you to do this, you will look back on this and say, well, we had great lasagna. The bishop came and talked for a while. I have no idea what he said, but it seemed like it was fine. We were cold until they turned the heat on. I mean, that's what you're going to remember. But if you want to actually do something on a year-round basis, this is a tool to help as a reminder. So a couple of our churches have then said, that their agenda for their church council meetings, they open with prayer, and the first thing they do is they spend 10 minutes, and 10 minutes only, they put a little timer with a ding that goes off, and they just look at where they are on their ask, thank, tell. So they're always, always looking at it. Sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes the discussion is flat and boring, sometimes it's animated and interesting. But it's a tool for having it always in front of you. So does that make sense, that idea? And the guideline is at least one self a month, but if appropriate, you can do two or three. <coughs> do one thing a month, yep. Either an ask or a thank or a tell, one of those a month. You can do, you can do more, but don't, don't overdo it. Sound good? Questions? Lou, Niken, <laughs> shoot! <laughs> Paul, George. George. Paul. Ringo. Ringo. Uh, <laughs> the reason for one a month is keeping in mind the res resources in terms of personnel, people time, I would presume. You don't want to overtax your people. Because remember the core? Oftentimes the core and a few others are doing all the work. And I get concerned if I, see, if I see churches filling in, oh, we need an ask, a thank, a tell in every single month. Because then the next thing is, we pull out this pen, and we say, who's going to do this? And here's what happens. Stephanie pledges. Who's going to do this? Stephanie. 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 And then what we find is what we have is we've overburdened one person. Now I'm picking on her. I'm sure the rest of you do a lot of other things because I know I've already heard of different things. But that's my concern and so that's why I encourage people to say pick one a month and do it and repeat over and over and over and over again so that's my thinking behind it can you do more than one a month of course but you know I'm trying to protect people from themselves <laughs> and I think there are certain times of year too that are going to be heavier yes obviously yeah a lot of ministry in the winter yep mm-hmm Right, so you're going to, you, you could probably, some of you are probably thinking, well, we could think. Right, exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Anything else? 8.20, pretty good. About an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes. Was this worthwhile? Oh, that's the right answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. You're a great group, and uh, we'll do this again in two years, because it seems like I come and see you about every two years. <laughs>